Hi, welcome to Inside the Romantic Era. I'm Mackenzie Jones. When you think of Romantic Era pianists, you probably think of Chopin or Liszt, or you think of nothing at all, which is why we're here to tell you a little bit about the lives, works, and legacies of these virtuoso pianists and composers. Franz Liszt was born in Hungary on October 22, 1811. His father was also a multi-instrumentalist and taught him how to play piano. By the age of eight, he was already composing his own elementary works. By the age of nine, he was already performing in concert halls. Liszt also had this crazy ability to improvise an original composition based off of any melody that an audience member gave him. He was also quite the ladies' man, and they always swooned in the aisles during his concerts. Liszt was rejected from the Paris Conservatory of Music because he was foreign, so Fernando Payer, a skilled Italian composer, instructed him in composition. In 1826, Liszt's father died, leaving him in a period of musical stagnation. He stopped composing and poured himself into books about art and religion. Incidentally, these books later influenced his works. Liszt never actually married, but he had a couple romantic interests and a few children. When he was 22, he met the Comtesse Marie de Gould, fell in love, wrote some beautiful pieces about the Swiss countryside, and had three kids. With new piano compositions, he traveled across Europe, performing many well-received concerts. Many of the proceeds from his concerts went to charities and humanitarian causes. Liszt's affair with Marie ended in 1847, and he began a relationship with Princess Caroline Zuzain Wittgenstein. She encouraged him to tour less, settle down with her, and teach and compose. One of Liszt's legacies is the symphonic poem an orchestral piece that evokes a poem, story, painting, or other non-musical source. During the 1850s, two of his children died, and his rival Johannes Brahms published a manifesto against him and other modern composers. Liszt tried to marry Caroline, but he couldn't because her divorce papers were incomplete. In 1863, Liszt decided to live alone in a small apartment outside of Rome. Though he got involved with the church, he didn't stop composing. Today, he is regarded as possibly the greatest piano virtuoso of all time. The other composer I will tell you about is Frederick Chopin, who was born on March 1st, 1810 in a little village in what is now Poland. His mother taught him music at an early age, and by the age of six, he was playing piano and composing his own tunes. Seeing his talent, his parents hired a professional musician to teach him technique and imagination. By 1818, he was eight years old, he was performing in elegant salons and composing his own pieces, including Polonaise in G minor. In 1826, he enrolled in the Warsaw Conservatory of Music, where he studied for three years. He was then sent to Vienna, where he had his performance debut in 1829, and audiences loved him. After that, he traveled to Germany, Austria, Poland, and Paris, where he settled in 1832. He quickly established relationships with other young composers, and among them was Franz Liszt. Chopin found employment in the great parlors of Paris as both a recitalist and a teacher. During this time is when he composed his most well-known pieces, including Nocturne Opus 9 and 15. Though he had many love affairs throughout the 1830s, he soon met Amatine Dupin, who was his most significant relationship. He spent a harsh winter with her in the south of France, where he developed a case of tuberculosis. By the mid-1840s, his health and relationship began to decline, and his behavior became a lot more erratic, something due to an undiagnosed form of epilepsy. In 1848, his relationship ended, and both were too proud to reconcile. He made his last public appearance on November 16, 1848, and he died in Paris on October 11, 1849, at the age of 39. Both Liszt and Chopin pioneered piano in the Romantic era and influenced many composers after them. Thanks for watching Inside the Romantic Era.